What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. Haven't been here in a long time at this particular Goodwill. So it's a smaller one, but hopefully we still find some cool stuff. I mean, let, let's just go inside and see what we find. So the first thing I go and take a look at inside of most Goodwills is the glass case. And okay, I'm seeing a Wii bundle here for $25. That sounds pretty sweet to me. I go to get the key to open this up, and they told me it's open. You could just go in there. So I'm not sure why they have this here, but whatever. So I go in myself, and I pull out this whole Mario Kart Wii box full of miscellaneous stuff because 25 bucks is already a good deal, but I want to make sure everything looks like it's in decent shape at least. Make sure the Wiis aren't obviously broken. Now... I didn't test them in the store, but I do test them later on in this video when I get home and you guys can see that. But this Mario Kart controller is disgusting. There's a hair hanging off of it. I don't even know what all that brown stuff is on there. I can only assume, I can only guess, probably shouldn't have touched it, but it is what it is. Too late now. And here we go. I noticed there's two Wii's in here. 25 bucks is already a steal, but I'm just curious what else is in here. Let's see. We got some Turtle Beach headphone things, a bunch of controllers, a miscellaneous bag of wires. I don't even know what half this stuff is, but I figure at 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. Now I want to continue looking inside this case, seeing some sunglasses in here. I don't really know anything about sunglasses. I don't end up buying any of them, but I was kind of curious. Maybe if you guys see something that I passed on because I'm very ignorant when it comes to looking up new things all the time. I just kind of assume. Now, you guys can see $12 for this Minolta camera. It's a Dynax 500. Not worth anything. Sells for about 25 bucks or so on eBay. This camera right here, this is an old school Nikon. I think it had 3 megapixels. <laughs> they were asking $20 on that. Uh, just a bunch of random stuff, right? And that's the reason. Sometimes you guys might see great things in these videos, but the prices are just insane, right? So I can't buy them. Even if the item is good, I personally don't buy it because the price is just crazy. Here's a perfect example. This is a Toshiba DVD read and write thing. $25. It only sells for about that on eBay. If, if this was $3, sure. Now here's my cart. We have the Wii Bundle. I found a phone for 8 bucks. Not bad. Now I'm going to check out the media. I love looking up media. Everything besides books, right? I don't really like scanning books, but DVDs is alright. CDs is fun. I just enjoy it. And I'll take you guys through the process right here. I pull out a movie. I open up my Amazon Seller app, and I scan the barcode. It'll pop up. It'll tell me its rank, how much it's selling for. I click through, and I see that my phone's going slow because I'm on 3G. And uh, $9.94 is what it's selling for. I'll make $4. The rank is a little high. They want two bucks. I'm only gonna make two bucks on it. That's not really worth it. So let's try another one. We got a few more uh, interesting looking DVDs here. Let's scan it up and see what Amazon shows us. Now Amazon is showing us nothing. Let's try it again, make sure I didn't miss scan it. Nope, it's just not on Amazon, so that's okay. We'll put that off to the side. Don't have to worry about it. Let's try the next one and see what comes up. So here's the listing. The rank was really high, so I just didn't even bother. Come around the corner, and I noticed some video games, some decent video games, actually. Take a look at this. Tomodachi Life for the 3DS, which is extremely hard to open with one hand, obviously. And it's in there. Okay, cool. Nobody stole it. <laughs> SpongeBob game for the DS, and look at this. A whole shelf of video games, mostly sports titles, but I do find some cool things in here. Let's see what we got. A Spongebob game for the PS1, a pirated version Crash Bandicoot, and Scooby-Doo. Uh, we have Minecraft right here, and these games are $4 a piece at my local Goodwill, and at most Goodwills in my area. We got Minecraft right here, Story Mode, bunch of Wii games, bunch of PlayStation 2 games. I'm sure you guys are seeing some before I see them. We got Mario Kart on the Wii. And I got to make sure it's in here, and it is. Okay, this is cool. Either these are usually stolen, or it's just all junk games. But you could see when I'm looking through the camera and not actually paying attention, I pass up on some, but I do end up grabbing them all uh, eventually. We did grab one DVD, and yeah, look at that. We got some good games. I will go over everything at the end of the video. You guys will see all the games I purchased and how much money I'm going to make on them. I'll put up all the sold listings on Amazon and everything else. So taking just a quick glance at the clothes because there's some people blocking my aisle. And 
you know, here I am flipping through it. Lots of J Crew, a lot of J Crew. Here's a brand new with tags J Crew, but my thrift stores are expensive when it comes to clothing. There was no price on this one, I don't think, but the majority of shirts like this are 10 bucks a pop. And I mean, they could just be really basic shirts and 10 bucks is a lot of money to be paying for this kind of stuff. Now here's a cool brand, Jack Wills. I've sold it before in the past, but for 10 bucks, not really worth it. I'm not really looking to buy clothes to sell on eBay. I know some people that's primarily only what they do, and I did it for a little while, and it is a pain in the butt. I just do not enjoy it. It takes a long time to take the photos. Um, they take up a lot of space when you're actually storing them. I like to send in my inventory to Amazon, and that is how I primarily sell. Now, I do sell a lot on eBay. If you guys watch my channel, you'll see I'm doing eBay sales every single day. It's crazy, but I primarily like to sell on Amazon, but I still find a piece of clothing here, and you guys will see that in about two seconds. Here it is, Pendleton. Awesome brand, great brand. Ten dollars, and I'm like, okay, you know, that's actually not bad. If I'm to buy something to sell, this would be it. I think you know, winter coming up, this could be great. Checking it out, making sure everything is good on it. It's looking clean, and then I notice there's some holes in the shirt. Now that's really not that bad. I've sold Pendleton all the time with holes in it, and then I notice a few more on the back of the shirt there. It's just starting to become something that I don't want to mess with. I've sold them with holes for about 30 bucks, but to spend $10 on something that is kind of not in the best of shape, I decide to leave it behind. What would you guys have done there? For me, just wasn't worth it. And you see me checking these prices, $10 for Chaps, $10 for George, which I think is a Target brand. I mean, I don't know what they're doing there with that, those prices. That's probably why there are so many shirts like piled in on the shelves. But there is a piece of clothing I actually buy. It is a Columbia PFG, great brand, right? Brand new with tags, even better. I scan it into Amazon and it sells, you know, it's $10 here, but that's okay. It sells on Amazon because it's such a new shirt. And wait, I'm taking a quick look, actually. Blue is 50% off, so it's $5. Okay, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to snag this. I will put it in a poly bag and ship it off to Amazon. Let's head to the next thrift store. All right, we loaded up the cart, going to the car. All right guys, I paid $75 even for all of this. You saw most of it in there, I believe. Uh, the video games ended up being pretty awesome actually. Um, $4 a piece, we got some good ones. Wii Sports, Mario Kart, Just Dance Disney, Zelda, Minecraft. Uh, Scooby-Doo games, guys, are super jacked in price right now. Almost all of them. Paid four bucks, it's selling for like 33 over on Amazon. Uh, two Wii's in here. I wonder if there's gonna be games inside. We'll check when we get home. We'll do a little test run. I don't think all the wires were in here, but for 25 bucks, it was kind of a no-brainer. So we'll test the Wii's and see if there's games in them. We got this phone set right here. You can see there's an Amazon sticker on it, and uh, I was able to type in the numbers underneath perfectly. And this thing's going for like 60, 70 dollars. I paid eight bucks for it. Not bad. And then the shirt. I got one shirt. I don't buy clothing, but this sells on Amazon for like 35, not bad. So I'm gonna put everything in the car and uh, yeah, we'll head home and see what kind of goodies we have on the Wii's. Hopefully they have games inside. This place is jam packed. Hopefully this guy doesn't steal my spot. Cool, he's not. Okay, we'll take this spot and hopefully we can find some great stuff to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon see it there it is back there okay pop the car in park take out the keys i already got my mask on lock it up and let's go let's go guys let's go so here we are inside the next goodwill and again glass case it's the first place you'll find me and uh video games in this one aren't so hot so let's head to the back to the electronics and i find this twister moves game five dollars and it actually sells for like $60, $70. And this brand new Imagine If board game, I love brand new sealed games. The Twister game wasn't new. We have a few DVDs in here that, you know, DVDs can go for some pretty decent money. A couple video games did end up looking them up. They weren't worth anything, surprising. I thought Tony Hawk 4 was worth a little something, but it wasn't. Um, not at a $4 buy cost anyways. And I do end up having to put back the Twister moves. I tested it and it did not work. That was a shame. It was would have been a good sale right there, and there weren't many pieces to count. 
You can see this Canon printer right here, $25. That's really not bad. I look it up, it's selling for $200, which is pretty crazy. I scanned that barcode right there. And you know what? I'll scan it live for you guys because was I right? Was I wrong? Was $200 high or low? Well, let's find out. Now, keep an eye out for this model of printer. I will spoil it right now. I do not end up buying it because the wrong printer was inside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's going for more than $200. It's going for... Uh, brand new, 293 with no used sellers. So, you know, I guess you could sell it for around 200 used. Not bad. But there wasn't the right printer inside. So now let's actually head home. I just dried her off. She's rolling around in the one dirt spot. The one fresh dirt spot anyways. What a pain in the butt. All right, guys, we are home. We have a big bin of stuff that I bought. So let's go through it all. Let me show you guys everything I bought from Goodwill. Uh, we got, starting off, I think I showed you guys this right away because this is a couple days later now. This is a Columbia size large. It's brand new with tags, which is awesome. But I scanned it into Amazon. Maybe it was half off, one or the other. And uh, gonna make some good money there. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can see. I, you know, I don't sell a lot of clothing, but as long as it's brand new with tags and it sells on Amazon, I will buy it. So, happy about that. We'll stick that over here. Okay, here is all the games. We got a whole bunch of games. Four bucks a piece. Scooby-Doo games are really spiked right now, guys. Here's the price up here on the screen. You can see, I mean, this is complete, super clean. All the discs, not all the discs are in great condition. I'll show you in a minute, but this one is in perfect condition. So, for $4, that's a no-brainer. And then we have a bunch of Wii games. Wii Sports game is in there. I ch did check all the games. Some of them are a little scratched, but I do have a disc cleaner, a JFJ Easy Pro, that I will use to clean these, and they will work perfectly fine, no issues. Just Dance Disney Party. Uh, some of the Just Dance games are still spiked up because of lockdown. People are stuck home, and they just want to like move around and play, and Just Dance games have gone up in value. Uh, Mario Kart Wii is great if you have the Wii wheel, which I do. This one is complete with the, actually it looks like it's missing the manual, but it does have the paperwork, the game, and the case. And I include one of these wheels and you're able to get more. You know, I'm gonna pop up both prices on the screen so you guys can see how much just the game sells for or how much it sells for with the wheel. Now, it did come with this, which has the wheel inside. This is actually very heavy. There we go. The wheel is disgusting. I'm gonna have to clean it. I don't know what is all over this. Like, it looks like soda spill and hair, and I probably shouldn't be touching it, but it's whatever. It's too late now. It's really, really, really gross. So, I'm gonna clean that off with some disinfectant spray and Clorox. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I will include that as a lovely little bundle and get more money that way. Next, we got Minecraft on the Xbox 360. This is also spiked, but it has been coming down because GameStop has been having sales on this game. It was selling for about $35 you know, a week ago, and now it's down in the 20s. Uh, this case is in rough shape. It's missing the plastic covering right there, so I'll just pop it in a new 360 case. I have a whole bunch of spares. Next, Zelda Twilight Princess, $4. I'm not gonna make a lot of money on this, but it is complete, so maybe I'll make a little more than I think. I think originally I was only gonna make about three to four dollars on it, but I think I'll make a little more since it's complete. All right, we have a few more games here. We have Tomodachi Life, great little hidden gem here. Look at that GameStop price, still $38. I paid four, and I think it's complete. I hope it's complete. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's hard to open. Yep, there we go. Manual back there inserts and the game so this still sells for i think in the 30 ish dollar range really not bad and is this the last game i think it's the last game civil war a nation divided there's a few civil war games that are worth good money this one was four dollars as well i think this one was no that's actually super clean so i know a couple of them are scratched but i will clean them up and they will work perfectly fine we did get one movie ella enchanted brand new sealed two dollars I'll make a little bit of money on this, not bad. And a brand new CD. I'm always checking CDs, I'm always checking DVDs, and of course video games. I, I love selling media, it's some of the easiest stuff. I pay $2 for this, brand new sealed. All right, now we are going into some of the unknown. I don't even know what this is. 
Qualtech. This was kind of thrown in. Uh, there's a few random accessories in here. This is like a pool filter. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. This is probably going in the trash. Uh, here's my receipt. I paid... No, this isn't even... Um, yeah, it has my name on it. I don't even know what this is for. This is like a, a mini receipt. Okay. And here's my other receipt. What the heck did I do two transactions for? I paid $75. There you go. $75 for all of this stuff. And I guess I bought two things separately and I paid $17.02 for the other two things. So, well, actually that's four, five, six. So, all right. Soph wants to come inside. All right, so Come on in. Come on, inside. Good girl. Wipe your paws. All right, so here are the two Wii systems. Now, there's a good chance, well, I don't know about at the thrift store, maybe they check it, but there is usually video games still inside of these systems when I test them. So, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna see if there are still games inside. Now, I paid $25 for all, all the Wii stuff. The games, the consoles, there's a few controllers in here. There's a Turtle Beach um, headphone thing. There's, uh, I think, another Turtle Beach thing. These little adapters right here can still be worth some money on eBay. This is Turtle Beach Ear Force X31. So we'll see in that. That's another piece of that thing. And then some controllers. So I don't think any Wii Motion Plus, but we have one Wii controller with a sleeve. We have two Wii controller with a sleeve, which is perfect. So I can include one with each system. And then we have an, a bonus one right here. And we have the cords and these little, this one's actually really busted. I'll throw this one out. It's missing the rubber on top there. So we don't need that. This one, the rubber is all messed up on. So that will also go in the trash. This one, the rubber is also messed up on. So probably won't include any of these. Yep, this one, it's all messed up on. Actually, part of the stick is completely missing. I don't know what happened to these, but I have a lot of extras of those. So I don't really have to worry. And... Some random wires. Okay, so what we're gonna do is plug these Wii's in and see if a game pops out. All right, the first one is all plugged in. Let's power it on. And let's hope something comes out. It doesn't sound like anything's in there, but... Nothing. Okay, so shut that one off. And then let's plug in the next one. Ah, well, we're 0 for 2. Well, 0 for 1. Let's see. Let's see if we got anything good in this guy. Oh. I heard something. <gasps> okay. Please be something good. You know, it happens all the time. I love it. Ah, Deca Sports. Darn. I was hoping for Wii Sports because that game's still worth money. I don't believe Deca Sports is worth anything. But, hey, you know what? We'll pop it up on the screen if it's worth anything you guys see. I really don't think it is. So, And it's actually made by Hudson, which is a, it's a good developer, but just the game doesn't have any value. At least I don't think it does. So, okay. One for two. Not a great game, though. So I did just look it up, and it looks like I'll make about four bucks on it, which is much better than I thought. But it does have a high rank, but I'll still send it into Amazon disc only. I'll just put it in a replacement, like, CD case. So I shouldn't have any issues there. All right, guys, so that is everything. I am pretty happy with this buy. Again, I only paid, what, $75 on that receipt and $17 on that one, so I'm in it. You know, one Wii, I should make about, well, I don't know. Wii prices have been fluctuating like crazy, but hopefully with a Wii uh, controller, all the cables and everything, and I, I am noticing it is, we only have one sensor bar in here, so one of these doesn't have a sensor bar. And the AV cables are missing too. So, oh no, the AV cables are right here. Okay, so we have enough things to create one full Wii bundle, which should make me pretty much close to all my money back. And then the next one, I'll just have to get some replacement cords. I do have some replacement cords, but I don't know if I have them all. So that guy will have to wait on. All of these can get shipped in right away. And we're looking at a quick double up at least on our money. Keep forgetting about that. So gonna make some pretty good money here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions at all subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see ya